If you notice these signs in your life, you are anointed by God. I believe the Holy Spirit has led you to this message today. You are here for a divine purpose, and I ask you to stay with me to discover if you are anointed by God. The devil does not want you to hear this message, but you have already taken a courageous step by engaging with this content. This message has the potential to change your life. Before we begin, let's invite God's presence and ward off any negativity. Heavenly Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus. We ask that you cover us with your holy protection as we seek your truth. Send away all dark demons and anxiety that may try to interfere with our understanding today. Fill our hearts with your peace and open our minds to receive your word. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Now, let's explore the five signs that indicate you are anointed by God. These signs can help you understand your spiritual journey and how God is working in your life. Recognizing His anointing in your life is a significant step in fulfilling His plan for you. Sign 1. You experience spiritual warfare. One of the first signs that you are anointed by God is that you experience spiritual warfare. This can be challenging and confusing, but it indicates that you are walking a path set by God. Spiritual warfare involves intense struggles within your spirit, facing temptations, doubts, and difficulties that seem to come from nowhere. The enemy does not want you to fulfill your God-given purpose. Whenever you draw closer to God through prayer, reading the Bible, or participating in church activities, you might face sudden and unexpected challenges like conflicts, financial difficulties, or doubts about your faith. These are not mere coincidences. They are signs of spiritual warfare. The Bible is full of stories about people who face spiritual warfare because they were anointed by God. One powerful example is Jesus in the wilderness. After his baptism, Jesus was led by the Holy Spirit into the wilderness, where he fasted for 40 days and nights. During this time, the devil tempted him three times, and each time, Jesus responded with the Word of God, standing firm in his faith. To stand strong in spiritual warfare, remain anchored in your faith. Consistent and heartfelt prayer is a powerful weapon against spiritual attacks. Philippians 4, 6 reminds us, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Immerse yourself in the Word of God and meditate on it daily. Sign 2. You have a heart for the lost. Another clear sign that you are anointed by God is having a heart for the lost. This means you deeply care about those who do not yet know Jesus and feel a strong desire to share his love and message with them. This passion comes from the Holy Spirit working within you. A powerful example is Jesus and the Samaritan woman at the well. In the book of John, Jesus goes out of his way to meet this woman, breaking cultural barriers to offer her the living water of eternal life. Having a heart for the lost means seeing people through God's eyes and caring deeply about their spiritual well-being. If you are moved by the plight of those who do not know Christ, that is the Holy Spirit stirring your heart. In the book of Luke, Jesus tells the parable of the lost sheep, illustrating God's love for the lost and the joy in heaven over one sinner who repents. Loving others and having a heart for the lost is not just a duty. It is a way to honor God and experience the fullness of His love. Sign 3. You find joy in trials. Finding joy in trials is a powerful testament to God's presence in your life and a clear indication of His anointing. It doesn't mean you enjoy suffering, but you can see God's hand in your life even during difficult times. Think about times when you face challenges such as losing a job, dealing with a health issue, or experiencing strained relationships. During these times, you might have felt overwhelmed 
But as you leaned on God, you began to notice a change in your perspective. Instead of being consumed by worry and fear, you found moments of peace and even joy. The story of Job is a powerful example. Despite losing everything, Job remained faithful to God, and in the end, God restored everything to him. Another example is found in James, who encourages believers to consider it pure joy when they face trials of many kinds because the testing of their faith produces perseverance. Romans 8 verse 28 reassures us, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Experiencing joy in trials means trusting in God's greater plan, even when we don't understand our circumstances. Sign four, you have wisdom beyond your years. Possessing wisdom beyond your years is another sign of being anointed by God. This wisdom often guides both others and yourself in profound ways. James 1, 5 tells us, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. One famous story illustrating Solomon's wisdom is the judgment of two women who claim to be the mother of the same baby. Solomon proposed to cut the baby in two, giving each woman half. The real mother immediately asked to give the baby to the other woman, revealing her true identity. Solomon's wisdom in resolving disputes and governing his people is a testament to God's anointing. If you find yourself navigating complex situations or making decisions that seem beyond your natural abilities, this is a sign that God is at work in you. Jesus said in Luke 21 verse 15, for I will give you words and wisdom that none of your adversaries will be able to resist or contradict. Sign 5. You witness or are part of miraculous events. Witnessing or being part of miraculous events is a powerful indication of God's presence and His work in your life. These miracles are clear signs of God's anointing and His power working through you. In the book of Acts, the apostles performed many signs and wonders through the power of the Holy Spirit. Acts 2 verse 43 tells us, Everyone was filled with awe at the many wonders and signs performed by the apostles. These miraculous events were signs of God's kingdom breaking into the world and His power to change lives. One powerful example is when Jesus fed the 5,000 with just five loaves of bread and two fish. In Matthew, Jesus took the loaves and fish, gave thanks, and distributed them to the people. Everyone ate and was satisfied and the disciples picked up 12 basketfuls of leftovers. This miracle demonstrated Jesus' divine provision and power. If you have witnessed miraculous events, it is a clear sign that God is working through you. Jesus said in Mark 16 verses 17 and 18, and these signs will accompany those who believe in my name, they will drive out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will pick up snakes with their hands. And when they drink deadly poison, it will not hurt them at all. They will place their hands on sick people and they will get well. I hope this message has brought you encouragement and clarity about how God is working in your life. If this message has touched your heart, or if you've recognized any of these signs in your own life, share your experiences with others in the comments section below. May God bless you.